collectors, gift givers, and fab some besties. I'm feeling a lot better after my break. Thanks for all the well wishes. You all are the best. My mermaids, mermaids dolls have been staring at me for a little while. When are you gonna take us out of the box, Toya? Yeah, I'm guilty of having a little bit of a backlog from time to time. So today we're gonna take some time to show the mermaids, mermaids dolls a little love. And by love, I mean removing their heads and putting them on made to move bodies. Hey, you play with your dolls the way you like and I'll play with mine. These dolls were $33.84 each and I found them at Walmart. We have Kashiko, Riviera, and Chanel. These mermaids have color changing tails, but that's not really why we're here. Whoa, that's a lot of hair. We're here for their heads. To anyone other than doll collectors, that might sound a little gruesome, but I absolutely love their faces. They do all look like pretty much the same face sculpt, but I like the inset eyes. It's one of the things I like about Rainbow High, Project MC Squared, and Live Doll. They actually remind me a lot of Live Doll with just a little diva makeover. But each doll comes with a mermaid tail. Don't get me wrong, I love mermaids. Mermaid is right around the corner. But I love the option of being able to go from fins to feet. With their tails, it is possible to balance them to stand. They have articulation at the head, the shoulder, the elbow, the wrist, the upper torso, and the hip. Oh yeah, and at the fin. Kashiko has an interesting hair texture. It's a uh, kind of cottony, like cotton candy. It's pink on one side, lavender on the other, with pink and blue highlights. There's a lot going on here. And she has a little unicorn horn, not in the front. She has blue eyes, little freckles, which I think are adorable, silver hoop earrings with crystals, a silver and crystal necklace, a jacket with puff sleeves, a lavender tank top underneath with a ruffle at the bottom, and she comes with a little cloud purse. Shell Nell comes with a perfume bottle shaped bag, long blue hair with a little curl to it, styled with a bow made out of hair on top. She has brown eyes, a neutral lip color, blue eyeshadow, blue heart earrings, a necklace, wears a crop fur coat with little sheer, what are these, like arm warmers, I guess? They're separate from the coat and they have like little ruffles on them and a bow. She wears a pink top with a bow, a little white accessory at the hip, a little chain around the waist with letters and a seashell. Oh, and we can remove that. Riviera has a lot of hair. It's curly, it's like two shades of lavender with some black braids mixed in. She has green eyes, glitter makeup, really pretty eyeshadow, dark metallic earrings, and iridescent animal skin jacket with spikes. Necklaces, a sheer top, a belt. One of her hands are painted black with a sculpted glove. This mermaid is definitely very rock and roll and she comes with a guitar. Personally, I think when dolls come with gloved hands, they should have a second pair of hands without gloves, but we're swapping their bodies anyway, so it doesn't matter. Riviera is actually a pretty good match for the petite Barbie looks made to move body. I originally used this one on Jordy, then switched her to a classic made to move body. This one might match Shell now, and I guess we'll try this one on her. Now everyone, say it with me. Off with their heads. Place the dolls in a plastic bag, then into a cup of hot water until their heads are soft enough to be removed. 
then place it on the new body. Oh wait, let's cut this off. Then place it on the new body. You do need to be careful about their eyes popping out. And I actually decided to place her on the made to move dancer body so I could get a curvy. There's a nice amount of shedding with Riviera. Well, for me anyway. Shellnell is a pretty good match on the made to move body. And I'm changing her name to Chanel cause it's just easier to say. This is now Kiki. We'll keep her as Riviera, Jordy, because you know, Star Trek Next Generation, and Harmonique, cause I'm already used to saying it. Let's take down Jordy's hair. Then let's do a hot water rinse. Wow, it's soft. Let's just comb it over to the side so her hair is not completely covering her face. I want to take this down to... I don't know if I should have did that. She has a lot of hair. I keep saying that with these dolls. They have so much hair and this hair texture is super tangly. But she is stinking adorable. I'm good with Chanel's hair without the bow, and Harmonique is nice and neat, so I'm gonna leave her as is. Let's take some pointers from Chanel and pull the top of Jordy's hair up. Now that they all have made to move bodies, let's find them something to wear. I'm thinking Barbie Extra. Let's try this for Jordy. It's fabulously sporty and pairs nicely with her original puffer coat. All right, Jordy, you're done. Riviera is on a petite body, so I don't mind straying from her character to come up with her look. She's wearing a purple pleated skirt, blue tank top, a jacket with a graphic on the back, and a silver necklace. Harmonique is also a petite. She looks like she could rock an all pink look pink shorts, white top, matching pink jacket. Because why not? For Chanel, let's go with these black patent leather pants. Gave her her belt, blue tank top, and the blue tulle ruffle jacket. Totally not trying to coordinate with their hair, but it's kind of happening. Last but not least, Kiki. We have silver glittery socks, a faux leather skirt, graphic tank top, paired with a fur vest and her little cloud purse, gave her her earrings to complete her look. Oh wow, I absolutely love her. She's definitely one of my favorites. At first I was a little weird about her hair texture, but I'm okay with it cause she's cute. Going back and adding some of their jewelry really just helps to make it look a little more extra. Talk about a crossover. So we have made to move Barbie extra mermaids mermaids, or we could call them made to move extra mermaids. I do think these dolls come with a lot of hair, definitely more than what I'm used to. But I think their faces are cute. I like the glass-like inset eyes and how easy it was to match them with made to move bodies allowing me to give them different body types. Thank you for joining us while we turned our mermaids mermaids into made to move dolls. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at myfroggystuff, the frog vlog, and Bella of myfroggystuff. And we will see you next time. Bye!